hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC using store procedures how to search or filter records using adword.net entity framework and here we got the output of that code MVC how to search records using store procedure let's enter the employee name Sam search and see here we got the sam details let's enter charan search and here we got the charan details if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in mvc first we'll check the table and the column names in sql server the table name is an employee which contains four columns ID, name, email, and salary. Now, my aim is using store procedures, I want to find or filter records of the employee details. Let's create a store procedure. I have created this employee table in the sample DB database. Come to the bottom. In the sample DB database, there is a programmability folder. Expand that one. Store procedures. Right click that one. New store procedures. And here we got our default store procedure code. I'm deleting the procedure name and the parameters. The procedure name is dbo dot emp get details is the store procedure name. At name, I'm adding parameter at name var tag fifty. After that, I'm deleting the default select statement. Select start from the table name is employee table dbo dot employee table where name is equals to at name. That's it. Let's create the stored procedure, execute, and here the command is completed successfully, which means the stored procedure name emp get details is created in this stored procedures folder. Let's refresh this folder and notice the emp get details is added. So let's execute the stored procedure. To execute the store procedure, the keyword is exec. The store procedure name is emp get details. Copy this one. Now, between the single quotes, I'm adding the name of the employee, Sharuk. S H A R U K. Sharuk. Execute. And notice at the bottom we got the Sharuk details. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Search Records MVC Store Procedure. Okay. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. Okay. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this window. Open Solution Explorer. Now, in this application, I'm adding adword.net entity model. Right click the application name. Add adword.net entity data model. The model name I'm giving EMP model. Okay. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option EF Designer from database. New connection. The server name is after adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. 
and here we got our connection string the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next and from the database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo the table name is a employee table finish And here we got the employee entity model is added into our application. Now right click the employee table, update model from database, select that one. And from the database objects and settings, at this time expand the stored procedures and functions as well as DBO. The stored procedure name is the EMP get details. I'm selecting that one, which is this one. Click finish. After adding this third procedure to this data model, again right click the entity employee model. Now add new function import. I'm giving the function import name is EMP search. The function name and the third procedure name is EMP get details. The entities is the employee table only, get column information. After that, click OK. That's it. We have added the stored procedure to the ADO.NET entity model. And notice in the function imports, the EMP get details is the stored procedure name, and EMP search is a function name. Open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Now let's add a controller to this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is search employee add and here the search employee controller is added to our project now in this action result index I am adding the connection entity which is a sample db entities as d is equals to new sample db entities in the return view as the dot I'm adding employees which is a table object dot to list now I'm creating another action result index method for HTTP post HTTP post public action result index return view now in this action result index I'm adding string employee search is an object what I'm doing I'm taking this object sample DB entities I'm putting at the top so I don't need to write again here in the return view sd dot sample db entities object dot notice here the emp get details is a procedure name we don't add this one we need to add the function name emp search in this function i am adding emp such this object and that's it we have written the coding part in the controller now we need the index view page but before creating an index view page we have to build the solution and the project is built successfully let's close the output message box highlight the index right click that one Add view. The view name is index only, and the template I'm selecting, the list template, the model class, which is the employee, such records, and the data context class, sample db entities. Add.
and here we got the index view page also now first in this index view page I'm adding sent tag h1 mvc how to search records using store procedure h2 ldboard.net entity data model horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding at using HTML dot begin form method in the begin form method I'm the first parameter I'm adding the view page which is an index comma the second parameter is the controller name which is a string so I'm adding double quotes our controller name is a search employee comma form method dot post now between these curly braces I'm adding HTML elements one is a text box control and the second one is a button control so input type is equals to text name is equals to here the name I'm adding EMP search copy this one paste here and placeholder enter employee name input type is equal to submit value of the button such a closing bracket and the center tag I'm deleting here I'm pasting after the table after that I'm deleting the action link edit details and delete And also, I'm deleting the action link create also. I don't require this H2 index. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. But before we run this application, the most important, we need to change the controller name in the route config.cs file. Open solution explorer, app underscore start, expand that one. Route config.cs, open that one notice here the controller name is a home which is a default one delete that one our controller name is search employee copy that one and pasting in the controller and the action result is the index only which is this page index view page let's check the results google chrome and here we got the output of that code and we see how to search records using store procedure. Let's enter the employee name Sam search and see here we got the Sam details. Let's enter Charan search and here we got the Charan details. That's it.